What's up guys? It's Ren here. Uh, normally I do post on Tuesday, but I was very, very under the weather yesterday. Um, plus my car broke down again, so I've been pretty down in the dumps. So um, I apologize for that. Um, this week's topic is how we um, navigate through life. Uh, being viewed as female or being viewed as male or being viewed now as male. Um, navigating life before testosterone was fine before I came out as trans. Um, you know, I just went about my everyday life. Uh, you know, uh, my gender preference and my sexual orientation were not, um, didn't play a role in my everyday life. Um, I just, you know, went about work and all that, um, like normal. Um, coming out as trans, it was still... I still went uh, through life the same way. Um, it was just the whole coming out to everyone process that was um, that was the hard part. Um, and then the harder parts came, you know, uh, with navigating bathrooms, um, which. I think I used, yeah, I used female bathrooms, um, until about six, between six and seven months, I believe I've said before, um, just because I didn't have any facial hair and I didn't really pass well, um, so that kind of took a, a play on that, um, so I, f I think that now that I'm more comfortable um, in my body, so to speak, um, as in feeling more masculine, um, I think that it's easier for me to navigate. Um, and I mean, not even just navigate, but just live life comfortably without always thinking you know, am I passing, am, you know, what does this person think to, you know, and is my voice deep enough, like, I, it's one of those things that, like, I just try not to think about as much, um, because, you know, I'm only a year on testosterone, um, well, almost a year and a month, but, you know, I don't think that my voice is deep at all, I think that I still sound pre-t um you know but the changes that have happened i'm pretty happy with um so far you know i'm hoping my voice drops uh more um but i just i find it easier to live my life comfortably and navigate through my life comfortably now that I'm getting closer to being in the body that I know that I was supposed to be born in. Uh, can't be a Ren video without a yawn. Just saying. Um, so yeah, I just, I, I find it easier now that I'm becoming more comfortable in my skin to, um, just go through life with not really caring what people think and you know if I pass if I don't pass like I mean it's still frustrating to get misgendered um, it doesn't happen often but um, I just had to shave my face for a job interview um, that I had today uh, which well, but it was very nerve-wracking. Um, but 
anyways, I had to shave my face. Um, like, I left my sideburns a little bit, but I went completely shaven. And um, that was three days before my interview because I wanted to at least have some thing here to so I didn't feel naked <laughs> um but yeah that was you know I was scared that I was gonna get misgendered because I didn't have facial hair um but you know it's just one of those things like it wasn't about m more so other people it was about myself feeling less of a man because I didn't have facial hair which is silly <laughs> so um but yeah, I think that now that I'm more comfortable, it's easier. Um, so, yeah. And so I got this video as long. Hey, it's longer than my other ones. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, I apologize for uh, Tuesday. Uh, but I will be on top of it next week. <laughs> and I won't be sick next week, hopefully. <laughs> So I hope you guys have a great week and I love ya.